Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus, how the heck are you? Huh? How are things going? How are things going? I know I was just here the other day, but I'm popping in again because, I don't know, I just have some kind of feeling, some kind of anxiety, and I just can't explain it. And that's not me. I am chill. I am calm, cool, and collected 95% of the time. Um, but I, I have had anxiety in my chest for days now, and I just can't quite shake it. So I'm going to uh, throw some cards for us. See what's coming for the collective of Taurus. Because if I'm feeling this, then I know anybody else out there who is in tune with the, the universe, right, um, is feeling it too. So look, my rock just fell off right when I was saying that. This rock flew off my thing and landed on the table. Did you see that? Did you see that? And look, What's on this rock is courage. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Anywho, I have this need to read. So let's just read for Taurus. See what the heck uh, I'm feeling. And if I'm correct, a lot of you are feeling too. It's just like a feeling like I'm of expectation. Like I'm supposed to be doing something, but um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I just really don't know what to do. And I was talking to a client last night on the phone, and after her reading, we were bullshitting a little bit, and um, her whole reading was about that feeling of expecting something, but not not knowing what to do. And her reading turned out that she needed to just chill for a minute. She needed to just stay and digest for a second. And uh, before I did her cards, I had like 10 minutes to kill before her appointment started and I was already all ready and everything like that. So I picked up a little deck of cards and I asked, what is this feeling? What is this anxiety? What am I supposed to be doing? And it came back with... Um, well, it came from within, but it came back with, um, I don't need to be doing anything. I just need to be waiting. I just need to be waiting. I just need to maintain for a minute while everything works itself out. And I just need to maintain for a second. So we're going to do a collective Taurus reading along those lines. I mean, at least that's what my intention is. I can't control what these cards say, but that's my intention. So let's do a reading about that, about that whole subject matter right there. Um, let's just do something about that. Okay. All right. Let's do it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Snuggle up to the table. If you're coming back, if you're part of the tribe and you've subscribed, part of the tribe, right? Subscribe, be part of the tribe. Um, come on in. Let's get comfortable. Let's talk. We haven't talked, we talked for a minute. Let's talk. Let's get caught up with each other. So let's do this. Let's see what these cards have to say. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus here with me. And for those that are feeling the frustration that I'm feeling, yep, look, nine of swords trying to come out. See? Ha! If he's, if they're feeling the frustration that I'm feeling, um, could you please guide us? Give us some wisdom and some guidance. What is this feeling this this oncoming it's out there it's 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 out there but yet nobody really knows what to do about it so what do we do about it what is it and what do we do about it what is it and what do we do about it what is it and what do we do about it please uh, tell me where the stopping point is I will cut three times and pull straight from the top what do we do Ooh, right there about it all right let's go let's go one, two, three. One, two, and three. And, oh, Prince of Pentacles in reverse, right? Stuck. Stuck. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Imbalanced. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Goodness. And the Four of Swords. Hanging up some kind of 
concerns. The Six of Cups in reverse to the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Lovers in reverse. Oh, we got to take these. Look. And the Princess of Cups and the Hierophant and the Princess of Swords and the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Look at that. You know, I'm going to, we could read this whole thing backwards. We should do that. You want to do that? You want to read it backwards? We better not, though, because the new people, they're not used to me anyway. So we, we'll just, we'll just stay on track. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Now we're stopping with this King of Swords and all of this is going to make hell of sense. It already makes sense to me. Okay. But it's going to make hell of sense to you in a second. All right. Let's do it. Woo we first card out the box is the King of Pentacles. Ten of Wands in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Princess of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands. Okay. The Two of Wands. The Future. The Sun in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe the Future not seeing clearly. Um, happy but not so happy. The Eight of Cups to the Prince of Swords. So communication of some sort. The Six of Wands, success. The Hangman um, to the Three of Swords in reverse. So coming to terms. Uh huh. The Emperor in reverse. And the High Priestess. Interesting. To the Eight of Wands in reverse and the world. Okay. Three of Wands in reverse, the Tower in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Look, Death in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles. Judgment in reverse to the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, all right, all right. We got to stop somewhere. Gosh, we got all these majors, though. Look, Temperance and the Hermit. Love the majors because they're teaching you what it is that you need to know about things. And it's just a bunch of repeats, so we'll stop there. I'm sure we still have a bunch of repeat with all those on the bottom and then these, but details, right? Details. I want to know the schnizzle. I want to know the schnizzle. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. So this King of Pentacles right here. Hierophant. Boom. Okay. Uh, alrighty then. Tell me, is this King of Pentacles Taurus or is this someone else? Well, I have two Tauruses there. Silly me. Why am I even asking that? I have, I have, some people say this is Capricorn, but for me, because I read for Taurus, it represents Taurus. It just does. It's got uh, cow heads. It's all cows, right? Um, to the Hierophant, which is the card of Taurus. Okay, so... Yes, the Taurus, the Taurus, five of swords in reverse needs to let go of some kind of mindset um, or resentment. And the ten of wands in reverse talks about uh, letting loose of a burden. Tell me about this seven of wands. I'm sorry, the ten of wands in reverse, letting loose of a burden. Yeah, the burden of an inability to manifest before. Um, Something that was really disturbing that you had to come to terms with. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse talks about uh, a lack of success, a lack of reward. What we feel coming somehow is um, a person from your past who wants some kind of of a second chance, some kind of forgiveness, acceptance, understanding. Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles, this is you, us, right in the beginning, right? That's uh, Taurus. To the Hierophant, which is also Taurus. The Hierophant is the word Hierophant in uh, Latin, I think it is, Greek, Latin, I think it's Latin. Um, means the uh the the person in the in the temple right the person in the sacred place who gets these messages from supposedly god right and then tells it to the people okay kind of like that middleman kind of thing that's what the hierophant is and the hierophant is about listening receiving messages from your soul from from source okay it's about commitment, yes. It's about marriage, yes. It's about all of that regular stuff. But at its root, it's about receiving guidance and wisdom, okay? 
Five of Swords in Reverse comes on top of that and talks about needing to let go of some kind of mindset, some kind of uh, mindset that is tinged with some kind of resentment. Okay? Okay? Nine of Pentacles. Um, this is, uh, I think this is Virgo, but nevertheless, I think this is Taurus standing strong and in their power. Okay? Um, you are in a position where you have grown a lot of grapes between then and now in this card, right? Because she grows grapes. I hope you guys can see it. She grows grapes and she um, raises falcons, okay? And uh, she's done a lot between now and then and she has um, found her sense of self-worth and she knows um, her power. She knows her power. Page of Cups, there's a message coming. Ace, Page of Wands right here, there's a message coming, okay? Someone is going to reach out to you. And then there's the Hangman, Major Arcana, speaking to you, saying, think about this before you engage with this, okay? Take a step back, get a new perspective of things, and think about this before you act on this, okay? All right. So, the person that's reaching out to you, Ten of Wands in reverse, has been avoiding the responsibility of making amends with you, reaching out to you, speaking to you. Whether it's love, romance, job, doesn't matter, okay? Family, it, it, friends, it doesn't matter, okay? Someone has not accounted for their behavior some way, okay? Page of Wands says they now feel compelled to do so, all right? So they are being divinely orchestrated in their own way, on their own journey, to sew up some loose ends on their side, to, to, to take care of some things that need to be taken care of. They feel a movement in their chest, and they know that they need to act on it. And that's what's coming towards you. Someone is having a big old come to Jesus meeting on the inside. And you are part of that checklist. Maybe a 10-step program someone's going through and you're on the list. Okay? Nevertheless, right? Someone's coming at you with a message. And the universe with the Hierophant right here is telling Taurus with this King of Pentacles right here that that. You need to check yourself and stand in your power as this happens in your life. And don't, don't, don't get egoy about it, okay? Don't get egoy. All right. All right. So, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And I'm preaching to the choir. I'm talking to myself just as much as I'm talking to y'all, okay? So, there you go. Um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse um, says, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse also talks about a lack of success. Okay. Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is about an inability to manifest. And the Moon in reverse talks about coming to terms with something. This is your person. Okay, your person, like I said, is having a big old spiritual awakening of some sort. It does not mean that they are compatible with you, but they are having some kind of an awakening. Okay, um, they're, they're, they're beginning to understand that they need to change something about themselves. The moon in reverse, coming to terms with some kind of big, huge internal struggle. All right? So your person is having this turnover on the inside of them. But they're green. They're little. It's small. Um, it is small. Princess of Pentacles, and they're bringing you a message. Ace of Wands. Look at all this small, right? Right? Aces, Princess of Pentacles, pages all over the place. It's all small. Okay, they're having some kind of uh, come, come, they're coming to terms with something, all right, and they're reaching out to you, and they want some kind of a new beginning with you, all right, okay, the Wheel of Fortune. As far as you're concerned, um, this is a turning point in your life. 
It's a turning point in your destiny. It is part of the divinely orchestrated steps of your path. Remember I said this person was moved somehow to make amends or reach out to you somehow, some way. Um, and that is divine orchestration. Okay, because them reaching out to you is also a turning point in your life as well. Okay, good or bad, with them or without them, it's a turning point. All right, Queen of Swords, this goes back to this Hierophant and the Hangman back here, right? This is about being sharp in the head, not acting on something until you feel your way, Hierophant, until you feel your way through everything that needs to be said to you about it, okay? The sun, the path to happiness, success, and vitality is seeing very, very clearly the world that your current cycle, your current state of being has elevated to the point where a cycle is going to close. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Two of Wands, and there's Taurus assessing the future. Well, what, what, what does this message mean to me? How do I even deal with this message? What does it mean to my future? The Sun in reverse. What you're not seeing clearly is that you're stuck on a place of a lack of reciprocation. So whatever this person is from your past, they didn't reciprocate to you. Okay, there was a lack of teamwork, collaboration, a willingness to build something. Mm -hmm. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse says there was a lack of success for you in this situation. Your sense of well-being was disturbed or disrupted in this situation. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What you're not seeing clearly is the lovers is the vibration that you are attracting into your life because of what it is that you hold about this person. Okay, so there's something that you hold about this person, um, a little space of yourself that is carved out, right? And it's just for that person. And that's this person. It's just for that person, no one else. And when this person comes back around with all of these high hopes about this, this new turnover that they're having in their life, coming to terms with maybe some of their own emotional woundings, um, when they reach out to you, it fills that spot right there, right? It, it fills that spot. And the lover's card is about the vibration or the inability to, to reciprocate a vibration. I'm going to explain. Hold on. The six of wands in reverse. A lack of success. The battle hasn't been overcome. And then the three of cups. Engaging, getting together. This is premature. Okay? It's, it's, it's premature because... The person that is coming towards you is not healed, okay? They're exploring being healed. They're touching on it a little bit, maybe Googling some stuff, right? But they're not healed. But they, with all this fire energy here, right, they think, aha, I got it. I got it. I know what I need to do. Um, I understand what my childhood wounding is now, and I'm getting counseling for it or talking to Dana about it. Uh, get, in, get, in some, get in some help trying to work my way through, and I've got it now. And um, this is my amends to you. I apologize. I know what was wrong. I know what I did wrong, and um, I want to make it better somehow, okay? But what you don't understand and they don't understand is that they're not healed, okay? Um, they're just beginning to heal, all right? All right, okay? The lovers, the vibration that's attracting the two of you, this person's low vibrational wounding, okay? 
your wounding from this situation in the past, that place that you hold in your heart for this person is low vibing. It's low frequency because this person has a lot of work to do. This person has a long journey ahead of them and you are not the stopping point. There you go. Thank you. You're not the stopping point. Okay. This person has a long journey. You're not the stopping point. Three of cups. But they want to rush right back to you when they figure out the aha moment that they have. Okay. All right. Eight of cups. This is walking away. It's, it's saying, that's awesome. There's eight golden cups there, bud. You're changing in your emotions. I, I see the change in you. I, I recognize what you're going through. You're completely validated in my space right here. I validate you 100%, okay? But, <laughs> but it's not nine. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not nine. Nine of Cups is wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. Eight of Cups is, this is great, but I know there's better. Okay? All right. Okay. Prince of Swords. Here's that message coming into you, coming into you. Eight of Wands. Quickly, right? This person is all like excited about this, this chapter of their life that they are, that they're starting. Okay, and judgment in reverse comes on top of this and talks about bad decisions, self-doubt. Tell me about judgment in reverse, please. What exactly is this saying right here? The three of pentacles. You have doubts and you are right to have doubts that you guys can work together, build together, reciprocate somehow together. Tell me more, please, about this. Tell me more, please. Self-doubt left over from the past that you can't have reciprocation. Look, yep, and Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you're right. You're right to, to think that this is a bad decision. It is a bad decision with judgment in reverse because the reciprocation with the Three of Pentacles that you want um, isn't going to be here. It, it's just not. It's just not going to be here. Yep, 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 yep. Look. Look, the Six of Wands, victory and success, overcoming a battle to achieve victory and success to the Page of Swords. That's what this person's going to tell you. They're going to come back and tell you that they've achieved, they have succeeded, and they have achieved. Mm -hmm. But look, death in reverse, they're just at the beginning stages. In, in a personal transformation, that's great, fantastic, but there's so much more. Read my book. Read my book. It talks all about the steps and the phases of spiritual growth and the, 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 the strongholds that will trip you up along the way and just point you right back towards the box again. Okay, this person has a long road to hoe. Long road to hoe. All right. All right. To the hangman. The hangman is, again, same kind of hangman is up there, right? This is taking a step back and look at the, looking at the situation, all right? Because three of swords in reverse and emperor in reverse. This person wants understanding, forgiveness, acceptance. They are coming with an apology and wanting to um, start again, okay? Okay, okay. The hangman, you take a step back, reevaluate the whole situation, and think about Eight of Pentacles in reverse, all your unmet expectations from the past, okay, to the Nine of Pentacles and how far you have come and the Two of Cups in reverse, how this was an unviable relationship in the past, and just because this person is running at you with messages of some kind of success or aha moment that they've had about things doesn't mean that a tiger can change its spots with the Emperor in reverse, right? It's leopard. <laughs> that a leopard can change its spots. A tiger can change its stripes. Um, 
The emperor in reverse is someone who is out of control of themselves. They're egocentric. They're self-centered. And some of this kind of feels a little bit like this person is pandering to you a little bit. Um, saying, wanting, saying what you want to hear, right? I've changed my ways. I figured something out. I have an aha moment. But I really think that this person is churning on the inside of themselves. I, I really think that they are. But like I said, they're just so small right now. And they need a couple of more bumps and a couple of more life experiences to determine whether they're going to go the long haul in some kind of spiritual understanding or if they're going to revert right back to their flesh again. And, you know, egocentric, self-centered people, egocentric, right? They, they, uh, it's, it's iffy. It is. It's iffy. To the Four of Swords in reverse, um, mentally restless. Your person is mentally restless about a lack of success in their life. And obviously, that's why this is all happening. The Fool. Your person wants a brand new beginning and a brand new journey. Your person wants to go. And maybe this person feels like you can be some kind of an asset to them in some way. Your advice, being Major Arcana, is to bounce out. <laughs> to go in a different direction. To go in the direction that your intuition and your guts are leading you. You know, if your intuition and your guts are leading you into this situation, then by all means, please engage. Maybe you can be a shepherd to this person. Maybe you can lead them and guide them and show them the way, provided you are also out of your flesh right? Again, back to the 10-step thing in the AA program, right? You got to have a sponsor that's already conquered some shit before they can sponsor you. So if you're going to engage with this person, just be prepared that you will be a shepherd to this person. And that's a big responsibility, right? If this is um, some kind of situation where you're hoping that this person can go the long haul. You can't build a life on hope, okay? You cannot build a foundation on coulda, shoulda, wouldas, if, ands, or buts, all right? So, however this hits with you, the fool says, brand new beginning, brand new journey. The magician in reverse talks about untapped talents. It talks about uh, latent potential. It talks about an inability to manifest. For some of you, this cycle needs to be closed down. For some of you, when this person comes back around, you're going to be so grown, so outgrown from this person that your turning point is recognizing this, closing this chapter of your life and stepping in to a, a higher elevated state of existence. For some of you, this is an opportunity to lead and guide and show someone the way. For some of you, this is the blind leading the blind. So if you're unhealed all over the place, you can't possibly, back to the AA sponsor thing, right? You can't possibly. So the Ten of Cups, this new direction that you're going um, is uh, filled with emotional fulfillment, filled with emotional fulfillment. The high priestess is asking you, do you want to carry this burden? Do you want to carry this burden? That's what you have to ask yourself because it's not, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard if you engage with this because this person needs a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And if you're thinking about sacrificing your well-being and your, your whole self for love for someone else, unless it's your kid, nah, <laughs> nah. No, you got your own journey. You got your own journey. You got your own life. You got your own, you got your own thing going on. And this person has their own thing going on. And if they're trying to pretend to have some kind of an awakening so you will stick around, that's like a huge red flag, huge, gigantic red flag, right? But if they are having a sincere little awakening, 
um, you cannot enable them to be codependent on you. Okay, so if you are thinking about taking this on, don't check yourself and see if there's some kind of codependent thing going on here where you're going to feel all good about yourself because now you can teach this person things. That's not cool either. That's not cool either. Eight of Wands talks about uh, holding off. Holding off, not going in that direction to the world. Again, world. Bring it to a close. Bring it to a close. You don't have the foresight. You're not seeing the forest through the trees. Avert disaster with the tower in reverse. You're, you, this can't really be rebuilt. Okay, You can't have the foundation that you're looking to build in your life with this person because you're way ahead of this person, like way ahead of this person. Uh huh. Nine of Cups in reverse, a lack of emotional fulfillment, Prince of Wands in reverse, a lack of inspiration, aspiration, desire, movement forward in your life, death in reverse. You have a personal transformation and realize Nine of Pentacles that you have worked really hard to get to where you are. Don't step backwards and definitely don't try to lead or guide someone if you don't know what the hell you're doing. Judgment in reverse. That would be a bad decision. <laughs> That'd be a bad decision. Eight of Pentacles. Just keep working. Keep working on yourself. Keep working on your stuff. Keep working on what you're doing. Step into a brand new double world card, brand new cycle. Apply some critical self analysis and say, you know, I really am not real sure that I want this responsibility in my life. It's like it's going to be like adopting a, a puppy. True. It is. It is. So anyway, temperance says settle down, breathe, calm yourself, and check yourself before you wreck yourself, Taurus, with the hermit right there. Check yourself before you wreck yourself because you need to tap into some deep soul searching about this whole situation. That's why the hangman is here twice too, right? Hold back, hold back, hold back, hold back. Because you have one of two turning points. It's either going to be a turning point in this relationship or it's going to be a turning point in your life. But you can't have both. <laughs> can't have both. See it for what it is with that King of Swords right there, right? The wheel in reverse. Because if you choose to go your own way and outside of the path of your guts with that high priestess right there, then you're on your own, right? If engaging in this with the Six of Pentacles is more important to you than anything else, know that Prince of Cups in reverse and the King of Wands in reverse, your person is going to still be incapable of emotional reciprocation because they are egocentric and self-centered and they have to find their sense of self-worth from the outside because they can't create it from the inside, so they consume it from you. Whew, the Ace of the Pentacles, there's better out there, Taurus. The Empress, own yourself. Three cards of Taurus, man. Three cards, the King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Empress, right? Check yourself, Taurus, really. Make sure that you're manifesting your life according to what your guts are telling you to do. Don't let your mind or your ego talk you into this whole thing over here. Be true to yourself. Be true to your guts. And you will never go wrong. Okay? Princess of Swords, a message. The Hierophant, again, wanting some kind of commitment, contract, or obligation from you. Princess of Cups, message. It appeals to your emotions, perhaps, but the lover's in reverse. The vibe's not right. The vibe's not there. Why is the vibe not there? Six of Cups in reverse. Because your person is still back here. They're just beginning to crawl out of the grave, okay? And you have done, created a damn life and everything already, okay? You're like living a life, and these guys are just now crawling out of the box, Mm -hmm. and, and that's the energy. The frequency is not there. Y'all can't vibe on the same frequency. This person is going to be infuriated by you, your vibe, because they don't understand it. Okay, And your vibe is going to be sucked down by this person trying to consume you to have some kind of self-worth. So there you go. There you go. Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. I know you love them. I know you do. I know you do. I know you love them. But 
sometimes love isn't enough. It's just not enough. It's just not. It's just not. Um, the Queen of Cups is ancient, agape. The Queen of Cups and the High Priestess, for me, are uh, like sisters, kind of, okay? The, the, the Queen of Cups is ancient soul. Ancient soul. And the Ace of Cups tells me that you have probably a soul connection with this person. Honestly, truly, you probably do have a soul connection with this person. And that's that peace that they occupy right there. Right? Hmm. Four of Swords. Come to terms with it, though. Come to terms with it, though. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You can't hold title in this person's life. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Protect yourself. Prince of Pentacles in reverse. Stuck. So you don't stay stuck in the same cycles because your person is just now crawling out the box. Interesting. There you go, Taurus. That answers that then, doesn't it? It's going to hit everybody in some kind of different way. Um, it is. It's going to hit everybody in some kind of way, but it's going to hit everybody in the same way. So um, this is for you, Taurus. This is for me. This is for us. This is what's coming. This is what we feel on the horizon. And if you want to really know more about you and your life, you can hit me up at the Path of Purpose. Dot org, or you can read my book. The link for everything will be in the description box. The book is about how to find your soul, how to find your way out of the box, how to find your soul, how to move forward, and step-by-step -step instructions about spiritual progression. So check it out. It's on Amazon eBooks. Um, there's an audio link down there too. But there you go, Taurus. This is for you. I hope this helps someone. Namaste.